After 81 years, hundreds of shorts, 13 full-length movies, guest appearances, spin-offs, and parodies, it's hard to imagine a time that Tom and Jerry weren't around playing the longest game of cat and mouse. However, they were almost a one-and-done short never to be heard from again. I'm Michelle with Popcon, and these are the things you may not know about TV's classic cat and mouse duo, Jasper and Jinx. The beginning that nearly never was. Jasper the Cat and Jinx the Mouse debuted in the Metro Goldwyn Mayer short Puss Gets the Boot, an animated short conceived by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. The studio greenlit the animation despite the idea of a cat chasing a mouse seemingly too pedestrian for a cartoon. At the time, the studio was looking for more traditional fare of anthropomorphic animals doing stupid human tricks, like Flip the Frog as a barber, or humans doing stupid human tricks like Willy the Whopper getting into an airplane race as they chased Disney's success in animation. In the fight to best Disney, MGM started looking for their studio creatives to build out new characters, and that's when Barbera suggested he and Hannah do a cartoon of their own. They decided on a cat and mouse, two equal characters in constant conflict. Puss Gets the Boot would go on to be nominated for an Academy Award. The beginning that nearly was the end. The rest was nearly history. As in, it almost ended there as producer Fred Quimby, then head of the short film department, pushed them to drop the cat and mouse idea so they could develop other, more desirable animations. The woman from Texas who you can thank for Tom and Jerry. You can thank Bessa Short for the re-emergence of Jasper and Jinx, soon to be transformed into the duo we all know and love, Tom and Jerry. Short wrote a letter asking when she was going to see another wonderful cat and mouse cartoon. That sparked interest in bringing the cartoon back from the archives. Winner, winner, $50 richer. The name Tom and Jerry came about thanks to a contest held internally by the studio to put a formal name to the pair of characters. Animator John Carr won $50 for the name Tom and Jerry. Barbera would later call the names very unoriginal. And then you later find out it didn't make a difference what the name was, it was the name of the success and you were at home. Gene Kelly gets down with King Jerry. In the film Anchors Away, starring Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly, Gene Kelly visits King Jerry, who is being served by Tom, to find out why Jerry has made it illegal to sing and dance. Kelly cheers the sullen king up by teaching him the art of singing and dancing. The role of king was originally pitched as Mickey Mouse. However, Roy Disney, Disney's CEO at the time, decided to reject the deal focusing on turning his studio's efforts around after World War II, which paved the way for Tom and Jerry to make their first guest appearances. Tom and Jerry are dangerous when wet. Not to be outdone in Anchors Away, Tom and Jerry would find themselves swimming with Golden Globe winner Esther Williams during a dream sequence. Much like with Anchors Away, the duo are combined with live-action elements and seemingly get along and work together. The Darkest Days Over the years, a myriad of studios have taken on the task of creating new Tom and Jerry episodes, but one 13-episode stretch is often considered the dark ages for the cartoon. Gene Deitch took on Tom and Jerry and created the episodes in Prague on a limited budget. Most of the sound effects and voices were created by Deitch himself. Deitch was not a fan of Tom and Jerry at the time he was assigned the job and found their violence to be off-putting. He would later surmise that the human connection to the character through the over-the-top violence signified a David and Goliath struggle that proved the little guy could survive to fight another day. These episodes are some of the strangest in the series. The animation was often jerky, the sound effects hollow and with an eerie echo, and the stories often took place outside the comforts of the traditional house. Once the 13 episodes were completed, Deitch's team was not renewed to create more, and the producer who greenlit Deitch's team was fired from the studio. Although many consider these to be the worst of the bunch, they do have a cult following with some fans finding the quirky nature of this era to stand out. Tell us what you think of this era by posting your thoughts in the comments. Live from New York, it's Tom and Jerry! Although the last episode for TV wrapped up in 2005, Tom and Jerry have been busy on the feature film front releasing 10 straight DVD movies. Nearly 30 years after their last theatrical release, Tom and Jerry are once again back in theaters, this time in another live-action affair. Unlike Dancing with Gene Kelly or Swimming with Esther Williams, the pair will appear in 3D animation, making life difficult for Chloe Grace Moretz and her job at Manhattan's finest, the Royal Gate Hotel. If you like this video and want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified. Tell us what you think of this era by post. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out of my uh, laughy mode now. <laughs> okay.
<clears throat> Blah. Okay. <laughs> Tell us what you think of this Arab ap- <laughs> Okay. Tell us what you think of this era by posting your thoughts in the comments. 